Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azubril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red Omega Latizolok. Last time, we went after some legendary Pokemon, and this time we're going to be taking on the final gym. Viridian City's gym leader, I guess. Whoever that may be. Yo, champ in the making! Even I don't know the Viridian leader's identity. But one thing's certain, this will be the toughest of all the gym leaders. Also, I heard that the trainers here are like ground-type Pokemon. Okay, good to know. That said, there's a bunch of trainers here who we don't have to battle, but we are going to have to battle two trainers. So we're going to start with this guy, I guess, and we'll move on. So this is Cool Trainer Warren. He has a camera up, apparently. Well, whatever, we can just surf. I'm a little afraid of running out of surfs, but, I mean, we should be able to get through here. I might stop at Fuchsia City so we can refresh our um, HM moves before we take a, um, go against the Pokemon League. Alright, Skarmory. How many flamethrowers do you have? Or do you have exactly? You have four flame wheels. Eh, give you a chance. So I'm gonna go into Wurmple 7. Seems Wurmple 7 only has three moves, I'm a little bit afraid to run out of any, um, any given moves. But Skarmory's kind of a wall. Surf might have taken it down, but I don't know for sure. And I don't really fi feel like finding out. So, alright, next up is going to be Miltank. Oh great. I don't know what to do. I could go into Bastion, who can probably Sky Uppercut. No tank is pretty, um, pretty tanky, though. Eh, we'll try this. Don't miss. Alright, so we're gonna land this guy uppercut. That should hurt. There we go. Alright, goodbye, Mill Tank. Nice job, Bastion. Alright, next up is Pseudo Wudo. I think I'm actually gonna go into Lara, who can pedal dance. Um,. I mean, I'm okay with running out of Petal Dance because we do have Leaf Blade. I really don't want to run out of Leaf Blade, though. But Petal Dance is like one of those moves that if we run out of it, I mean, I'm not going to be too heartbroken. Because it's a good move, but it locks you in. And I don't really like being locked into a move. Because then you really don't have an option to switch out. Or use a different move. Now the good thing is that... Alright, Zangoose... Do I want to... I'm going to... You already have a Petal Dance up. I probably should have gone into Bash and the Mock Punch, but... Let the record show I'm not very smart. So we're gonna Petal Dance this thing. Is this gonna do enough? Wow. Okay, Laura, you're powerful. So with that, Laura's gonna grow to level 57. And with that, we defeated Cool Trainer, Warren. So that, that, was, that was a battle that happened. So here we go against the next trainer from the battle. I'm the Karate King! Your fate rests with me! Okay, so here we go against the Karate King. And this is Black Bell Takashi, who has an Agron. Okay. Earthquake would be quite effective, but I think we're better off going for Surf because it's special rather than physical. I'm pretty sure Agron has more physical defense than special defense. So, we're gonna be able to take that thing down with relative ease, I suppose. So, alright, next up is going to be Breloom. I definitely don't want to keep Hydro in against this thing. Alright, let's go into... I think Wurmple 7 is our best bet, because I really don't know what else to do. It's, it's a little bit of a situation where Breloom can... It can Spore, it can Mock Punch, it can... Hit with a Stab Grass move that'll hurt. Which is kind of my biggest complaint, well, my biggest grievance with, uh, keeping out Hydro for this. So, alright, next up is gonna be Polyrath. I definitely don't want to keep Purple 7 out for that. I'm gonna go into Lara, I think. Because, once again, Petal Dance is pretty strong, and I think it should do enough. I hope. If it doesn't, we're gonna be in a little bit of trouble, but I think it should. It's super effective, it's stab, we were able to one-shot a Zangoose. Take that Polyrath. Okay, so Polyrath is going to just live it. But it's fine, because we're going to land another Battle Dance, and that's going to take down Polyrath. No problem there. Goodbye. So, I guess with that, we're going to have defeated 
Black Doll Takashi, the Karate King. Good to know. So as we can see, there's the gym leader up there, and it is none other than someone we've already battled before. What do you know? Well, whatever. That said, let's actually head up here, because here's the gym leader! Good, okay. So, how's our team with health? We seem to be okay. So, now let's do this. <laughs> Welcome to my hideout. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again, so be it. This time I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. So here we go against the final gym leader of the Kanto region, Viridian City's ground-type gym leader, the self-proclaimed greatest trainer, Giovanni. So we are challenged by leader Giovanni, who is leading off with the fly gun. Oh dear god. Oh dear. Alright, I, I don't know what to do. Surf is neutral. Surf is neutral. Hydro, let's just see what you can do here. Oh my god. Alright, so that's gonna actually take out the fly gun somehow. Alright. Next up is gonna be Cacturn. I don't wanna leave you here. I'm gonna go into Bastion, I think, because we can go for a fighting move, since it is dark. It's kind of weird that it's dark and grass, but <clears throat> whatever, I'll do what I can. Let's go for a mock punch. Alright, so we're going to be able to take that thing down with a mock punch. Level 61, so this way priority would help. Persian. So far, I'm noticing a fighting weakness on this team, and... So far, not that many ground-type Pokémon, and <laughs> we get a crit! Nice. So Persian's gonna go down. Next up is Swampert. Wait a minute, do you have any grass moves? You have a Mega Drain. I'm a little bit afraid of the Mega Drain there. I think I'm gonna go into Laura. I mean... Uh, Nat, do you have any? You have a leaf blade. I I think uh, it's quite effective. I'm gonna go into Laura. I probably should have actually gone into uh, Nat New in this case, but oh, we're gonna outspeed level 61. But whatever, this is quite effective. I cannot imagine a Swampert surviving this. Goodbye, Swampert. Alright. Right on. I think we can just stay in for that. This hits on the special side. It's a free move anyway. And we're probably going to get confused afterward, but it's quite effective. So, Laura is just putting in work in this gym. Seriously. I really kind of feel bad that I didn't use her a lot before. And next up is Tyranitar. Um, it's gonna bring out the Sandstorm. Laura, I wanna see if you can take down the T-Tar. See what you can do. Level 63. Ugh. And the Sandstorm is gonna increase, I think, special defense. So Petal Dance might not KO, and if it doesn't, then I probably have to switch out. So, we're gonna go for the pedal dance. Let's see what we can do here. It's super effective, but it's not quite effective. But it doesn't even matter. Wow! Okay, Laura! That is some power. That, that's the power of the dance there. With that, we're gonna Oko a Tyranitar at level 63, I think. And with that, we defeated the leader Giovanni. Ha! Huh, that was a truly intense fight. You have won. As proof, here is the Earth Badge. So with that, we obtain the Earth Badge, the, the eighth and final badge of the Kanto region, and receive $6,100 for winning. The Earth Badge makes Pokémon of any level obey without question. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokémon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokémon League. Also take this TM. Consider it a gift for your Pokémon League challenge. So with that, we receive TM26, which I believe is Earthquake. TM26 contains Earthquake. It is a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor. 
I made it when I ran the gym here far too long ago. Having lost in this fashion, I can't face my followers. I have betrayed their trust. As of today, Team Rocket is finished forever. As for myself, I shall dedicate my life to training again. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. No more gym leader. Okay. I guess we're the last person to be able to get this gym badge from this guy. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's let's get out of this place. Although I think there's like a full heal in here. Since we don't have to battle any of the trainers at this point, I think we're free to go look for it. Or am I mistaken? Or I think we might have gotten I don't know. Cause I believe the full heal was there's a full heal like right there. My memory kind of isn't that great, but whatever the case, how are we doing with health? We have Laura at minus something, whatever. We have fresh waters. We have fresh water galore, so whatever. She, I mean, she did some serious work in that gym, so she deserves it. That said, do we have an encounter from this route? I don't think we do, but or I don't think we've been here, but I really don't care. Because it would be like level 2 or something. But here's green. What? Lanzul, what a surprise to see you here. So you're going to the Pokemon League? You collect all the badges too? That's cool. Then I'll whip you, Lanzul, as a warm-up for the Pokemon League. Come on! So here we go against our rival! So, rival green wants the battle, so he's leading off with his Crobat. Fair enough, fair enough indeed. Alright, can we outspeed a Crobat? Let's go for a Surf. We are gonna outspeed a Crobat, land the Surf, and how much damage will that do? That will do enough! Adios, Crobat. Crobat is going to go down. Next up is gonna be Venusaur. I definitely don't want to keep Hydro in for that. Let's go into... I think I have to go into Wurmple 7 for this. We're gonna probably end up using our final um, Flame Wheel, or last two, I think one of our last two flame wheels, or we only have one left, I don't remember, I wasn't keeping count. We only have two more, we're gonna use possibly both, depends on what we can do to this Venusaur, but since it's not a Mega Venusaur, Bus doesn't have thick fat, we are gonna be able to oak -ho it. So we have one more flame wheel left, next up is gonna be Houndoom, I don't think I wanna stay, I think I have to go into Hydro for this. I really don't really have anyone else to go into for it. I probably could go for a Strength on it, but Surf is so much safer. So, I'm just gonna go into Hydro, go for the Surf, which is kind of the safe move, and it can be replenished because it's an HM and all. So, we're gonna land the Surf, that's gonna take down the Houndoom, and that is nice. Alright, so next up is going to be an Ampharos! Let's stay in, it can't hit us with a Stab move, so... What the heck. Alright, let's go for a Surf. I'd Earthquake it, but there's no, there's really no point to Earthquaking right now. And Surf is going to do enough, since that is not a Mega Ampharos, doesn't have that Dragon Typing to resist water. So, we are going to take that out with Surf, and we're going to go to level 59. Alright, next up is going to be the Alakazam. I'm a little bit nervous about that, though, to, keep, to be totally honest. I think I actually want to go into Natnu, who can probably Strength. Cause str I mean, Natnu is our fastest Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. So... I would, I'm a, I mean, we had spec Crobat though, so, Alakazam shouldn't be as bad. I mean, because the thing, I think the thing is, I, I don't know, maybe it's EVs? Do I Pursuit or Strength? I think I Strength. Strength is physical. Alakazam does have more physical defense than special defense. Oh, sorry, I have more special defense than physical defense, I mean less physical defense. So better hitting on this physical side. Next up is going to be Jinx. Alright, not to jinx anything, but I think I'd rather actually just go into Wurmple 7, who's going to resist one of the stabs. I'm a little bit afraid of the psychic moves, and I might as well use our last flame. Do I want to use our last flame wheel? Actually, I don't think I want to. Well, I'm going to do that. I'd rather use up our flame wheels and flamethrowers. Now, the thing is, flame wheel we're going to run out of. Well, now we ran out of, so I can't really use it. Now, the thing is... If I go after, like, any post-game stuff, well, either that, either way, we defeated our rival Green. I was just careless, you. I mean, then we received $2,196 for winning. But as I was saying, if I decide to do the post-game, after entering the Hall of Fame, our Pokémon will be healed up by default, so I won't have any option as far as getting back all power points that were missing of moves um, currently known when we beat the Pokémon League. 
So if that happens, I'm just gonna consider that a reset. So even if we, like, I'm probably not gonna be getting rid of Flame Wheel, only because I have nothing to replace it with, because, well, Wurmple 7 only has two moves now. So, I, I mean, if it gets replenished, then that's that. I mean, it's not like there's too much going on in the post game anyway. Either way, that loosened me up. I'm ready for the Pokemon League. Lotazul, you need more practice. But hey, you know that. I'm out of here. Smell you later. Okay, okay, okay. Stop smelling people. Seriously, it's weird. But we're gonna actually, I think, head back to Fuchsia City because I do want to get back some of that Surf because I would like to have no problem as far as the Pokemon League. Now, I think we can actually manage to get through Victory Road without any wild battles. Or at least, if I use a uh, Max Repel, we can, without getting into any wild battles. And I think there's a way to actually avoid any trainer battles as well. Which, while it might sound a little bit weird, it would save us a lot of trouble if I didn't battle any trainers. Because this way, it would save us our power points. Of course, then we will probably be a little under-leveled for the Pokémon League. That is, if I don't do any grinding beforehand. Which I might do. But at the very least, just in case I don't, I want to be able to make sure I'm set. So, I'll think about that. I really don't know. It, it ultimately depends, I think. It is, it depends. So, let's head this away. We're going to have to head back to Fuchsia. It's going to be a little bit of a bicycle ride, but, I mean, we don't have to worry about battling anyone because we battled pretty much all these trainers here. Repel War off, that's fine. That is fine indeed. We don't worry about Cycling Road Beat and Bikers, because we've already battled all of them. However, this is going to be quite the ride. I don't think I'm going to worry about replacing, like, the one strength that Natna used. I'm more concerned about Surf, because Surf is a really good move. And I think we used a... We probably didn't use too many of them, but at the same time... Um, I want to make sure that we have enough to get through the Pokemon League. Because if we don't, we're screwed. Because I, I'm not positive Drayano changed it, but I think that Lance is going to have an Aerodactyl, and we're going to want we're going to want Surf for that. And um, I mean, that's just something I think that we're going to need. So I think this is the wrong house. All right, here we go. This should be the right one. All right, you're the move deleter. Good, good, good. I, I, I need you to help me freaking move. Okay, Hydro needs to forget Surf because actually we have, we used less than I thought. So we're gonna get back six of them, which I mean, well, three fifth. I mean, we use we we did use forty percent of our Surfs, which might not seem like too much. But it does make a difference, because that means we'd have to use 9 Surfs to get through the entire Pokémon League. Which we probably won't need. I don't think we will, but just in case. Just in case, I'd rather not leave it to chance. Because there's a, really, there's a very real chance that we're going to need to use every single one of them. But once we get to the Pokémon League, like, once we are at the Indigo Plateau, at the very top, and we start battling the, um, the Elite Four, I am not going to put any concern into power points other than- well, conserving power points other than that which I need for the Pokémon League themselves. For instance, I'm not going to worry about whether or not we're going to use them up while we're battling them. Like, in pa and like against Gym Leaders, I had to consider that. But, as far as the Pokémon League goes, it's pretty much... It gets to the point where it's all about making sure we get through there. Nothing else really matters. The post-game... I don't know if we're gonna do it or not. We might, we might not. But if we do, it doesn't really make a difference anyway, because we're gonna be healed up anyway. Not by my choice, but because that's the way the game works. So... That said, let's head all the way back and I'm back around. We're gonna have to get back through Vermillion. Through Diglett's cave and around. So, let's head through Saffron City. It's it's a pretty long venture just to get from 
just to get from Viridian City to Fuchsia City. It's pretty long of a journey, but nonetheless, it's one we do need to take. So, I guess we didn't need to take it. It was all for six serfs, but you know, those six serfs could actually make a difference. They could very well make a difference. I don't want to use a TM right now. I want to use a Max Repel. If they make a difference, then I will say I told you so. Because if we if we use more than nine serfs, which I feel like we're going to, because when you think about it, there are probably each Elite Four member is going to have six Pokemon and the champion. So that's 30 Pokemon. Meaning if more than one third of the moves we use in total are surf, then, or if at least one third are surf, then we will have run out, we would, then we will have run out of surf, have we not. Now we can use up to 16, so up to, ha uh, basically half. We can use pretty much roughly up to, well, surf against up to half of the Pokemon in the uh, Elite Four, which isn't going to likely happen, but you never really know. Especially when there are ghosts involved. So. Let's get going. Because here we go to Pokemon League Front Gate. This is it. This is it. Here we go. Oh, that is the Boulder Badge! Go right ahead! Alright. You can pass your only get the Cascade Badge. Oh, that's the Cascade Badge! Okay then, please proceed. You can pass your only get the Thunder Badge! Oh, that's the Thunder Badge! Please, please proceed. Thank you very much. Let's get this berry here. Love a berry. Not gonna help us out, because it's a berry and all, but you never know, it could be a mushroom or whatnot. Oh, that's the Rainbow Badge! You must have been stalled out by Erica. Oh, yeah. Alright, so. Let's continue. Oh, that's the Soul Badge! Okay, please, go on ahead. So, this is our encounter for this place. It's a Clam Pearl. Um, level 21. I probably could catch it, but I really don't care about the Clam Pearl, to be honest. The last thing I need is to have to use an item afterward, the battle, to heal up or whatever. Oh, that's the Marsh Badge! Okay, go on ahead. I mean, I could- I mean, I could have caught the Clam Pearl and all, but... To be honest, I really- I don't care. If it was a Pokémon that I really, really, really liked, then maybe, but... I mean, it's one of those Pokémon- I don't dislike it at all. It's just that it's just- just Clam Pearl. And we got an Aspear Berry. That's- that's pretty Aspear. Okay, so... Here's a Fero that I really don't care about, once again. All right, so, as I said, I, I mean, it doesn't really make a difference because we couldn't catch that one anyway, but whatever. Oh, that's the Volcano Badge. Please, go on ahead. Oh, thank you, kind sir. Oh, that's the Earth Badge. Okay then, please, go right ahead. So here we go. Here we are, Indigo Plateau, the highest Pokemon authority, Pokemon League Headquarters. The ultimate goal of all trainers. Victory Road Gate, Pokemon League. And Citrus Berry. Gotta get that Citrus Berry. So important. So here we are at Victory Road. Now I am gonna use a Max Repel. If we get an encounter here, great. If we don't, I really am not too concerned. Because we have enough Pokémon at this point that it really makes no difference. Especially because I don't want any of the Pokémon we currently have to die anyway, so I don't anticipate on needing to use anything here. Even if, even if a Pokémon on our team dies, we do have those legendaries that I would rather that are legal that I would rather use. So I'm not too concerned about not having Pokémon at this point because it really, it's not a concern that I should have. Also. There's items here. Let's get one of them. And we get TM02, which contains Dragon Claw. The other one is a rare candy, I'm pretty sure. We can get the rare candy, but I really don't care enough about the rare candy, to be honest. But you know what? I want to see if Rayano changed. It might be something possibly more useful, though I can't imagine that many things more useful than a rare candy. Even though rare candy does not give EVs, it only gives a free level. 
and if you're between levels, which usually you're not going to have exactly the right amount of ex the, exactly the amount of experience gaining a level, so you're going to have like a certain level plus zero um, experience for the next level. But that would be the way to optimize a rare candy. If you're at level nine, if you just get to level 99, not an not an experience point over level 99, and then get the rare candy to 100, that would be the optimal way to use rare candy, to be honest. But with that here, we get a rare candy. Because if you're halfway through a um, halfway through a level and use the rare candy, you're not optimizing the use for your rare candy. But who really cares that much about optimal use? This isn't economics class. This is Pokemon. That said. Let's... No, the entire world is an economics class. That said, let's move on. Let's let's use strength on this thing so we can get around that thing. There we go. Okay, so that guy clearly isn't going to force us to battle him, which is really nice. And we got TM37, which is Sandstorm, something I'm probably never going to use. I might teach it a Hydro if I have, like, if I feel like I need to, but unless I need to, there's no way I'm going to do that. We got a full heal, which is kind of nice, I suppose. Uh, clearly we don't have to battle that guy, but we did get TM07 for Hail. So, Hail, I'm less like I feel like I'm less likely to use, to be honest. So let's go this way. I have a feeling we're going to have to battle that guy if we're going to want that item. I don't know what that item is, but I, my guess would be Sunny Day. And I really don't care to find out, because I have no need for Sunny Day, to be honest. So, let's go for a max repel. Only because we found... Maybe it's Rain Dance, who knows. Could be Rain Dance. That would make sense as well. And as I said before, there are a bunch of trainers here who we can battle but I honestly don't care that much about them. So here we got TM50 for Overheat. That's not a bad move. Not one I probably feel like I'm going to use, especially if we don't have a White Herb, but it's something. So that stairs right there would take you to where Moltres is in, well, first generation. But here it really doesn't make that big a difference. I think we're actually going to battle one of these pairs of trainers. Oh wow, we can get around that trainer? I didn't know you could. Did Drayana change that? Huh. Well, either way, let's move this boulder. And that would mean I don't think we have to battle anyone then if that's the case. That said, let's push this boulder all the way as far as we need to. Alright, so up onto this white platform. Now we can take these stairs here. And that'll take us through here, around, up here, and... Hey man, you should be proud of yourself, having battled your way through Victory Road so courageously. I didn't battle anything. I used a max repel and avoided all trainers, so... I guess it does take guts. In recognition of your feet, I'll teach you double edge. Would you like me to teach that technique? No thank you. I'm not in the mood for double edge. That said, because the thing is, although it does a lot, it has a lot of power, it also does a lot of recoil, and that could really be a double edge sword at that point. So, Repel's gonna wear off, but that's fine. We don't get an encounter for, for Victory Road, but I really didn't care too much anyway about that at this point. Because here we are at the Indigo Plateau. We've done it. So, well, we've made it, should I say. We haven't done anything yet. Agatha's ghost-type Pokemon are horrifically terrifying in toughness. Took my fighting type Pokemon and raised them to the max. I went at, um, went at Agatha feeling pretty confident, but she whooped us. That old lady's also got a really short fuse, too. Doesn't take anything to get that scary lady hollering. Maybe she should enter a tough contest spectacular in Helen. You becoming an elite four member is in the blood. From what I've heard, Lance is a cousin of the gym leader somewhere far away. Oh, okay. Yo, champ in the making! At the Pokemon League, you will face the Elite Four all in a row. If you lose, you have to start all over again. This is it. Go for it. Well, if it really is, then that's the, then that's that. So let's 
go buy... You know what? They have Moo Moo Milk here, but it's not worth it, to be honest. They sell ethers? Okay. Um... We have five of them. But the fact that they sell them, does that make it mean that we can't use them? We haven't used them, though. But that's interesting. Hyper Potions. I'm gonna buy a few of them, although we're not, we really don't have any real use for it, but... I don't really need all the money we have, to be honest. I mean, the money we have is, is it's, it's money. I don't need Ultra Balls, they don't sell Pokeballs here, obviously. I mean, I really don't need all the money we have. We don't have that that much money, but we have some. So, we do also have a bunch of Pokemon who we're not going to be bringing with us into the Pokemon League itself. Because we can't bring more than six Pokemon. So, these Pokemon are going to be sitting in the PC while we take on the challenge and hopefully don't lose, because that would be unfortunate. But seriously, if we are if, some, if we do lose a Pokemon, I think they're gonna be replaced by pop, by someone in this box. Because these are the stronger Pokemon that I think are we're best off using if that's the case. A, less grinding, and B, they're strong Pokemon to begin with. So, I mean. Why not? Hopefully nothing happens to any of our Pokemon, because our po our team right now is awesome. Uh, half of it's Grass-type, and Grass-type is probably one of the least uh, useful types. I mean, it's a really useful type, don't get me wrong, but it has a lot of weaknesses. That said, it's still a, a really good team. And these are really good Grass-type Pokemon, to be honest. So we have Laura the Bell Awesome, Bastion, the Breloom, Wurmple 7, the Typhlosion, Natnu, the Skeptile, or Sceptile, whatever it's called, Grim, our starter, the Electabuzz, who's almost out of moves, but I think we do have the Thunderbolt that we can teach him. And he just has strength. And Hydro, the Swampert, who is just so powerful, seriously. Um, I mean... I'm just hoping that we can get through this without too many problems. We do have Earthquake, which is a good crutch, I think so. Hydra should be able to handle a good portion of these Pokémon. I'm thinking that Grim should be able to handle a few things. At least one Pokémon in the against Agatha. Natnu should be able to handle some stuff, I think. Murple 7's gonna have to go for Flamethrowers and Strengths. Bashing can Mock Punch, which could be useful, I think. And Laura is gonna have Leaf Blades. I mean, I could dance, but I think Leaf Blade's a little bit safer at this point. Although, it, I don't think it does as much damage. But it's safer, I think, because we don't get locked in. Actually, no, it does more than, leaf, than Petal Dance. Wow, I don't know why I was thinking Petal Dance did more than 70. So, Leaf Blade is a better move to begin with, all, to, all things considered. I thought Petal Dance would do as much as Outrage, but I was wrong. So, that's why I'm not very smart, I suppose. But, Leaf Blade is our better, our better option at this point. I don't think we're going to need as much Grass-type coverage though against the Pokémon League, so clearly having half a team as Grass might not be the best thing in the world. But on the other hand, it could be really useful. I mean, we do have Electric, Water, Ground, and Fire covered. A little bit of Psychic, Fighting, and pretty much you name it, and hopefully we can handle it. We do have Pursuit on Natnu, which could help out against Agatha. We have, I mean, I don't know what we're going to, we have Wurple 7 for Lorelei, at least for the Ice ones. For the Water Ice ones, we have, I guess, a bunch of Grass-type Pokemon. Hopefully we can handle a Lapras with them. So, Bruno, I think we're going to have to just, I mean, we have one Psychic, but I think it's going to have to, um, it might be up to someone else. I don't know exactly what we're going to do there, but I guess next time we'll find out. So... Thank you for watching, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and next time we're going to start taking on the Kanto Region Pokemon League Elite Four. So, remember to answer the question of the day for a chance that a legendary Pokemon will get sometime in the post-game, assuming we do that, to be named after you. So, the question of the day is, who is your favorite member of an Elite Four? Any Elite Four, any region, 
Who's your favorite member? My favorite is probably Lance, because, I mean, dragon Pokemon are cool. Um, I mean, I, I, I like Lorelei, too, to be honest. Um, I like water and ice types, because of, well, she does run Lapras, which is, I think, her signature Pokemon. Although she's an, I, I do like the ice type, although I feel like a lot of people don't, because it is a pretty relatively weak type. But, I, I do like that, um, them. They're in Kanto. Although Lance is the champion in Johto, so hey, that gives him the edge, doesn't it? Although then again, I do like a lot of other Elite Four members in other regions, but I don't know what it is about in Sinnoh. I just, I, in the Sinnoh ones I didn't exactly feel as strongly about. Even the Kalos ones were kind of, eh, I mean, my favorite Elite Four ultimately is the one at the Indigo Plateau, the Kanto slash Johto one. I know it's a little bit different between Kanto and Johto. So, my favorite of the Elite Four is ultimately, I think it'd have to be the Kanto one. Which is probably one of the few things that I like Kanto most in other regions um, regarding. On the other hand, I do like in 5th gen, I like how they brought Caitlyn from the Battle Castle into the Elite Four. Um, that was kind of cool. So, remember to answer the question of the day, and I will see you next time. So, goodbye.